Hey guys, today I'm going to do a little test project using Resincrete and Resin to try to make a uh, part matte, part glossy piece just to see how it turns out. So I thought about doing this project because I get emails from uh, the creator of Jezin and I haven't purchased Jezin yet, but that is something that I do want to buy and see how it works. But one of the emails that I got a few months ago was showing how to make a glossy and matte piece using Jezin. So Jezin was part of the piece and then the rest of it was resin. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna try that with Resincrete just to see how it turns out. I decided that I want the piece to be green. So I am going to use this powder in the Resincrete and in the resin. The first step is going to be getting the resin creep poured, letting that set up. And then our second step is going to be adding the resin. Uh, here's the scale. I've done this before where I, you know, measure it out. I think I already have this in grams. Let's make sure. Yeah, so I already have it in grams and I'm going to go ahead and just um weigh it out so 10 to 3 would mean that if i do like 100 grams of uh base then i need to have 30 grams of water i don't think i'm going to mix up quite that much resin creep maybe about half of that so uh so 50 grams of resin creep to 15 grams of water let me do some math <laughs> real quick so how to figure out how much you need because i do want to do i think 50 grams of the resin crease so if 10 over over 30 is 50 over how much water uh so on 50 10x so yeah 15 so 15 and i did a math in my head but i was like let me just make sure but yeah so 150 divided by 10 is 15 so we'll do 15 grams of water and 50 grams of the base so i'm gonna go ahead and zero out my water or my cup it looks like it's already zeroed so that's great we're gonna try to get 50 grams of the powder in there and I already have a spoon in my powder so I'm just gonna scoop 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 real quick okay so far I don't know I'm a little nervous I'm not getting any weight so let me there it goes okay let me just make sure perfect I'm making a mess. My apologies. So we've got 10 grams right now. So if I just wanted to mix this up, I would do three grams of water. But I want to do this by five. Obviously, if I just took the five and multiplied it by the 10 and the three, I would have got my amounts too. But let me just make it harder on myself. <laughs> All right, 16. And then once we get up to 50, I will zero out the uh, scale so that we can measure the water. I'm hoping this all fits in here. Okay, we're at 42. 28. Let me just make sure. 
And I'm going to take two grams out. All right, so we are at 50. Dude, this thing is killing me. All right, so we're at 50 grams now. <sighs> I hope this is right, because it did get a little wonky there at the end. Um, but yeah, so after the 50, we need to add 15 grams of water. So we just press the zero to make this uh, make the scale pretty much as if there is nothing on it and then we're going to pour our water I'm going to try to take this really easy but I know myself and I'm kind of rough I have a little plastic stir stick here that I'm going to use to stir it all up All right, I'm not going to pour any more because it says it's at 16. And I think it's getting heavier now because it's starting to mix. So let me go ahead and just start mixing. Okay. Let me mix it. I may have mixed a little too much from what I'm going to try to do because I want to try to make it like kind of zigzaggy. But let me just mix it up first. I'm going to find another mold in case I need to like put this in something nice. All right, so we're going to take some of the powder and I usually have a scoop. I'm not sure where it went. I have a metal scoop and I have a plastic one. I think I see the plastic one. So we're going to use that. All right. So we're going to go ahead and add some powder. Now on this packaging, it says uh, that when you add the pigments, they can be mixed together to create any color required. And they're mixed at a maximum of 2% by weight of the total mix. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, sounds like more math. I'm not going to do the math. I'm really just going to mix it up and see, you know, how it looks. But the last time um, I mixed anything with the jazz or with the resin crete, um, it took a, quite a bit of pigment for for the resin crete to change colors like as you see right now nothing's really happening and um it's weird uh so it's two percent of how many grams was it okay that's about 20 grams so two percent that's like what four Or point, yeah, point zero four or something. I'm just gonna keep scooping it in and pray that this comes out okay. <laughs> Let us pray. I don't think I'm gonna put any more than this though because I'm nervous. Hopefully, it just brings out the color. Come on. Okay, so it's not really. This is the problem that I had with it the last time I used it. Is it just doesn't really turn colors. So I'm going to find my acrylic ink real quick. Because I do have a dark green acrylic ink and I'm going to just kind of blend that with it and see if that will give us a little more color. And I'm going to cross my fingers that the whole thing uh, cures properly. But it's probably just going to be a nice little pale, pale green. What I want to do is uh, maybe go to see if I can get the uh, inks that J Diction has. Because then I can, you know, do something with that. All right. So it's a pretty little pale green. I'm just going to... 
I'll leave it at that because I don't want to mess up the um the formula so I have another mold I picked this little green one and we're just gonna see what happens now friends I'm going to pour this in a zigzaggy fashion and then pray <laughs> it's kind of cool Put like a dot there and then I'm going to do that I still have some left so let me find my molds all right so I have the rest going into this little face mold that I'll probably paint when it's done just see what it turns into it's definitely not as green as I wanted but it's fine and there it goes so I'm gonna give this uh, about an hour to set up it's supposed to only take 30 minutes and these are small enough amounts that it probably won't take more than that but I just want to be sure this one I'm just going to set way off to the side because it's not going to be part of the whole resin and resincrete thing. Um, so yeah, I will be back in an hour and we will pour our resin on top. Alright guys, I am back and I have the resin ready to go. So what I did was mix up um, about 130 grams of resin and 130 grams of the epoxy. I used this to take two scoops of that dark green and then I added four drops of the dark green acrylic ink to get this. It's still slightly uh, translucent, which is fine. I don't mind if it comes out super opaque. I just wanted to make sure, you know, that I had it mixed up pretty decently. So we're just gonna pour it. It's pretty. Pour some here. I actually think it's gonna look pretty cool. Gonna make sure this is even more here. And then what's left, I'm going to use on, you know, the thing that I said I was going to put to the side. And voila. So now these have to sit for um, at least 12 hours before I can unmold them. And really, I'm just going to let them sit overnight because why not? <laughs> and then we'll see how they turn out tomorrow. All right, guys, it is the next day and I am ready to go ahead and uh, demold these. I'm hoping for the best because uh, when I was moving these two particularly to a level shelf so that I could work on other things I could kind of hear the resin crease separating from the silicone so I'm hoping that there wasn't a ton of leakage um yeah <laughs> so let's do the first one this was the the main tester ah that's kind of cool so I can see there's a little bit of leaking here looks like and um here so where it's glossy is where the resin leaked under the um resin creep but look at that that is kind of cool once i figure out how to do actual cooler designs i really just need to be cooler and more um a little more precise with my placement of the resin creep because at this point I just wanted to see what it would look like you can see here where the resin 
you know, leaked under. Um, so the next time I do it, I'll just do it here and not move the pieces. Let's check out this bad boy. This one, I'm ho probably won't have any leaking at all. It's a little harder to get out though because of the size. Ta-da! That's so cool. I really want to paint this one too. But that is, oh, that's so cool. I like that a lot, actually. There were some air bubbles, but I'm going to probably sand this down a little and um, let it be. That's awesome. I may do one where it's like part resin creep, part resin, um, and see how that turns out. Because I really, really, really like that. All right, let's check out big boy over here. Trying to be gentle. Okay, nice. So here I can see too where the resin was able to leak under the resin creep, but where it is matte, it looks really cool. That's cool. Okay, so now that I know that I can do this, I am definitely planning on um, trying this again, but not moving the pieces so that the resin creep doesn't separate from the mold before it cures, um, well, before the resin cures, but I can, I can see now that it is possible to do like a kind of matte and, matte and, shiny kind of look um this one's definitely my favorite here <laughs> because it was the easiest to not mess up but i i like it so i'm definitely going to try this again um and probably make another video once i figure out how to kind of get a cool funky design maybe i'll do some coasters but that is it for now thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any questions um, comments, any constructive feedback, then make sure you leave a comment down below. Have a great day wherever you are. Bye.